my brother David a while ago when he spoke about a topic similar to this. He said that gifts of the Holy Spirit are like magnifying glasses. They magnify the Spirit in you. Um, can someone read Romans chapter 8, verse 16, please? Well, 16 and 17, 17 only. Romans 8, Romans 8, 16 and 17. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, and if children, then hears of God, then hears, hears of God and joint hears with Christ, if so, be that we suffer, suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon... Yes, enough. Um, thank you. Um, in essence, what I'm trying to say is that when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you attain sonship. You become part of God's family. Um, and uh, this is a benefit because when you hang around with someone a lot, you tend to rub off on them. You tend to, um, shall I say, have similar principles, similar characteristics. You possibly in many ways do things the same way as you know, your father or your mother behaves, basically. So um, what I'm trying to say to you is that the more you dwell in the spirit, you become that spirit being, you, um, you, re you can relate very easily. You then, um, you're then able to behave like the way God wants you to behave. You are then able to fulfill the purpose that God has in plan for you, um, in store for you. Uh, can someone also read John chapter 14, verse 26, please? Where this quite a few times today. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I've said to you. So basically saying that now that you're in God's family, um, God will be able to teach you the way to go. He will show you, he, he's that light. You know, it says the word is a lamp unto my feet. He shows you the way to go. He becomes that light of salvation that you've always longed for. He becomes that shepherd that you've always needed. Um, and like in Romans, yeah, Romans 8.26, it basically shows us that God then is able to work on our behalf. Things that we can see, things that we cannot see, because the Spirit's in you, God then goes forward. He then works on your behalf. He then goes forward and fights battles that you are unable to see. Things seen and unseen, your, God, God basically fights that for you. Um, also... With the Holy Spirit, God fills you with wisdom. He gives you direction. He reveals his purpose for you. Um, also, Romans 8, 6 makes us understand that another benefit of the Holy Spirit is that it gives you life. It gives you peace. It gives you rest of mind. You are rest assured that God is by your side. You're rest assured that wherever you go, he is with you. You know, you just feel as though you, you're comforted basically, um, and that because you are spiritually minded, whatever you do will always be of the spirit. It may be different to what your, how your friends are behaving, but because it's what God has in store for you, because it's what God has planned for you, you know, you know in yourself that I have another life after this, and it'll always be peaceful, and it'll be rest, and it's be of rest, and it's greater than what is of what is in this earth. Thank you. Thank you very much.